Hello, this tutorial assumes that you've already watched the first Medbox tutorial. In this video, we're going to walk through some of the more advanced features of Medbox. Let's start with all the options that appear when you tap Edit on the top right. In the previous video, we already discussed how to add a new profile and how to edit or delete a profile. So what does Sync Devices do? Tapping Sync Devices will package up Medbox's database and attach it to an email as we see here. This attachment can be opened on any other Apple mobile device, such as an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, in order to sync data from one device to another. I'll go ahead and delete this email. And moving on, we see password protection. Tapping password protection will bring up the Medbox settings where you can turn on protection and provide a four digit password and then confirm the password. And when protection is turned on, Medbox will automatically lock itself when the app is closed or you tap to another section within Pocket Pharmacist. And just be careful, choose a password that's easy to remember because the password can only be changed if you know the current password. If you get locked out, you'd have to delete the app from your device and re-download. So uh, moving on, refreshing Medbox. This is really only necessary if you were to sync devices using iTunes. And this is the safest way to sync your data. This is described within the help library. Uh, there's extensive written documentation there. So let's go ahead and talk about shared data. All of these items, medical conditions, pharmacies, prescribers, are shared across all users. Whenever a profile adds any of these shared data items, they'll appear here. So for example, right now we have three medical conditions across all profiles within Medbox. I'll tap on Danielle and I'll tap on her medical conditions. And I'm gonna add, um, let's see, I wanna add high cholesterol. So that's not an option to add here. So I'll create a new medical condition called high cholesterol. So there we go, it's added. And that's all we wanna add for now. So I hit done. So now Danielle's medical, um, I'm sorry, Danielle's medical conditions now include high cholesterol. If I go back to the shared data items, we see that high cholesterol has now been added because this represents all medical conditions across the app. Now, if I wanted to change the name of this medical condition, I can just tap on it and maybe I wanted to make it say hyperlipidemia, which is more of a medical jargon way of saying high cholesterol. And if I tap on Danielle and her medical conditions, we see it's been changed there as well. So it's changed across the entire app. And here's one tip. If you were to try to delete a medical condition from the share data section, so I'll tap on medical conditions here. And if I were to tap on hyperlipidemia and hit delete, the system's going to recognize the fact that this isn't allowed because hyperlipidemia is already used by Danielle. I would have to go into Danielle's profile, into her medical conditions, tap on hyperlipidemia, remove it from her, and yes, I want to confirm that I want to remove it. So now she has no medical conditions left. Now I'll be able to go back to the shared data medical conditions and delete that item. It'll seem a little confusing at first, but it makes it a lot easier to enter data without having to re-enter the same thing multiple times for multiple profiles. So let's move on. I'm going to tap on Mike's profile and we've already gone through current medications and how to add new drugs and so forth in the first video. I wanna go through past medications. So this is a list of all medications that were uh, taken in the past and discontinued. And the reason for stopping the drug or the reason for discontinuing is always gonna be in red. Now you can add these one by one if you have a list of past meds you wanna keep track of by tapping plus and going through the form or if you're on a current medication that is stopped, for example, I'll mark Renexa as being stopped by tapping on it, then tapping edit, and we can tap inactivate or delete. And here we can either delete the drug, which would delete it entirely from the program, or we can inactivate it, which would save the drug history and place it in the past med location. And that's what we want to do. I'll tap inactivate. And then the system just asks for the reason for stopping Renexa and I'll just say dizziness and I can skip this and leave it blank and that's acceptable but I'll add this reason and hit save and Renexa is removed and placed within past meds so there we go the last thing I want to talk about is this 
button on the top right of all profiles. Tapping this will allow you to email, print, or view the complete profile. So I'll tap view and you'll see that the profile is neatly organized with allergies, medical conditions, providers, and all the medications that are within the profile. And this is a fantastic printout or something you can email to your doctor for appointments. Makes it very, very easy to go through that information. So that's about it. That rounds out Medbox and most of the features that are inside Medbox. If you have any questions or feedback, please go within help and use the feedback button. Thank you for your support.